what is it like to be a restaurateur right now? Is this a good business environment right now to be owning a bunch of restaurants, or is it a tough time? I really think the economy is much better now. Now You're versus not, when? The 2008, now versus like 2009 and 10 mm. and 8, it started to uh -huh. be shaky. And when the economy went really bad in the U.S. here, and I said, oh my God, I have six restaurants in Vegas, six in Los Angeles, and the economy is bad, so it was very difficult. Mm. So that's when I decided to expand international. So we decided to open in Singapore, in London, in Dubai, in Bahrain, mm. Istanbul, so that all came to flourish. And now we're gonna open in Shanghai with Disney. Uh, they mm. are doing a big theme park over there. And I tell my wife always, I said, I'm gonna travel less and less and spend more time at home. But we are opening restaurants all over the world, so it's a complicated thing. Does she come with? Sometimes she comes with me, like <laughs> she did a big opening party in Dubai for our mm -hmm. restaurant. She has a lot of friends in the fashion business and mm -hmm. so on. So we, she did the same thing in London and did a big party for Tom Ford there. Mm -hmm. I think she is really good at the PR side of it. But we have also two small children, Alexander and Oliver, and you know they need her at home too, so she cannot come all the time. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Shanghai. Is that your first uh, entry into China? Uh, Shanghai is going to be our first entry into China. We're going to do uh, one small bar and grill and then a big bar and grill in Disney. I'm looking for Hong Kong. I think it would be an exciting place to put a restaurant. But we are in Singapore. We have a cut in Singapore, and now we're opening a Spago in Singapore. So that's really exciting. Has China been the hardest market to enter? The slowest market to slowest. enter. China, to get a decision, I'm talking to people about the Conrad Hotel in Shanghai mm -hmm. on the bun, mm -hmm. like for four years, but because it's also owned by the government, to get a decision, it's almost impossible. Do you have to have a local partner the way all companies seem to have, to have a local yeah, partner? Yeah, I would have a local partner yeah. there, but wherever we are, we operate the restaurants, even if it's a licensing agreement, we train the chefs, we train the managers and all the principals in the restaurant, and then we operate it the way we operate right here. But overall, it sounds like it's a, it's a pretty good time uh, business-wise, I mean, especially compared to five years ago when we were in the depth of the recession. Absolutely, I think people seem to enjoy to go out all the time and have parties. I mean, we certainly could see that a lot when we do parties in our restaurants. Whereas five years ago, everybody canceled their party. They said even mm. the people who had a lot of money said, well, it doesn't look right to do a party. Now people entertain much more and mm. choose good wine and uh, eat better, eat more, more <laughs> interesting things, you know. Do you mean people are more willing to try something different exactly. when they're feeling more confident economically? Exactly. I think when uh, the economy is not good, they will eat a chicken pot pie or they will, right. will eat comfort food. But I think when everything is doing well, they are more into experimenting and trying mm. new things. And I think we are really on the upswing. And in LA, we have a lot of young people who make good money. So they are always experimenting and they always want something new. Like at Spago, I changed the whole menu right. and I changed the decor and the young people really love it. And some of the old people say, why did you do that? We don't, we liked it before. I said, yeah. But we have to evolve, we can't sit still. If we stand there, the train leaves and we will be in the train station. So we have to go with the train. <laughs> mm.